Hello, uh, welcome to my review of Big Hero 6. God, my, my face looks really like on the water right now. I don't know. Um, Big Hero 6 is that Disney movie that came out. It's actually really good. A lot better than Frozen. It's pretty much the opposite of Frozen. Like, Frozen has the good songs and stuff. Well, good after, like, one listening. It gets tiring after a while. But. Big Hero 6 is kind of the opposite. It's like, there's there's not, like, tons of singing and dancing and princesses and all that stuff. It's, it's actually a surprisingly mature movie. It's based on a Marvel comic, and it shows, because it's, it's got, like... Like, it's almost it's almost kind of an action movie. I mean, it's it's got the typical kids movie stuff, like Hero Saves the Day. The, the main character's name is literally Hero, which, you know, would be stupid, but... Uh, it's kind of sort of a Japanese setting, so I think I think it's Hiro, like H-I-R-O, which is a Japanese name, but it's an obvious pun to, like, so his name can be Hiro. <laughs> but it's not just, like, the American word here, so it's, uh, I cut it some slack for that stupid pun. But, no, the, movie, the movie's got some real charm to it. I, I, I like how... But it can. It also knows. It also is. Jeez, ah, this was. I I recorded part of this once already, but it messed up and it's uh, kind of uncohesive now. But uh, no. Um, frick. <laughs> um. Anyway, uh, it, these. This is kind of a spoiler, but not really. In the first uh, like half hour or so, a major character dies. Like like, legit actually dies. Like, not dies and then comes back later. Like, you know, typical Disney movie. No, he dies, and he does not come back. He is dead. Dead. And and they handle it really maturely. Like, the main character, Hero, he's, like, upset about it, as he should be. And they... It's very serious. Like, they don't... They don't... They don't play the light-hearted angle. It's, it's taken very seriously. And it's and it's done very maturely. I like that. I also like that it's not it's not super black and white with its like these are the good guys and these are the bad guys because I I can't go into detail about why it's this way without spoiling the story, which is actually a surprisingly good d deep story for a uh, for a Disney for a Disney cartoon. It's it's got a couple plot twists that. Like you won't that you won't necessarily see coming. Yeah, they're cool. <sighs> Something's messed up over there. Don't worry about it. Uh, and I don't know. It's just it's a cool movie, and I I I found myself engaged. Like never once during the movie was I like, oh, this is boring, or oh, this is obviously pandering towards little kids. Like there, it wasn't pan. It didn't pander towards little kids. I mean. It was a simple story. I, I I say it was a good story with several plot twists, but it was it was simple. Like it it wasn't comp it wasn't really complex. Like it was definitely simple enough that kids could grasp its concepts and under understand what it was about. It it's one of those movies where the store it's one of those stories that's like simple, but at the same time deep enough to be interesting to an older person. I like that. I, I like when movies do that. I like I like it when movies try to have a broader broader appeal. Um, and all the all the characters are pretty well developed too. Like like even the even the bad guys are somewhat well developed. I mean the only characters that weren't that interesting to me were uh, so heroes got like like there he's got a bunch of college like heroes like a. 13 year old genius kid who's like in college he's got a bunch of these college buddies who are all like like science science geeks except for the one guy who except for this one guy who doesn't even go to the school he's like the school mascot and he just hangs out with them and he's kind of a doofus but he but like they that they actually those those characters don't have much depth they're all they're all all five of them? I don't, know. I don't even remember how many there were. That's how unmemorable they were. I think there was the cheery girl, the hipster girl, the black guy, <laughs> the black 
that's how that's how like generic they were. Uh, the dorky goofball, which was the only one that I found really enjoyable out of the three, just just because he like he had a lot of funny lines. There, the, not the three, the four. Yeah, there were four of them. Uh, those those characters were pretty one note and didn't really get any development. Kind of just sidekicks, almost side <laughs> character, which is a bit of a shame. But and Baymax is actually surprisingly cool. Like the the Baymax is the big white like plush robot. He's in all the trailers. Uh, that the friends, the kid. He's actually he's he's kind of like Groot, sort of I guess. In that he's like simple and simple minded and like but he's also kind of like charming in a like sort of friendly, like almost like a pet way. Because he basically is a hero's pet because he like cares for heroes. And he's, and he's he says some very funny but also some very uh heart or he's like 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 Groot, except for that, you know, he can say more than just I am Groot. And I got qu I got quite a few laughs out of this movie. I was never bored by the story or like, oh jeez, they're pandering towards little kids again. There weren't any like immature fart jokes or poop jokes or whatever. It was all it was all like some like like legitimate comedy. All all the attempts at humor were. I mean, some some of them I guess were a little childish. Like like I could see people being somewhat annoyed by the idiot character. By the goofball character that was friends with them, because most of his line, most of his uh, jokes revolve around him just be kind of being dumb and like dim-witted. Like you can skip past this because there's like minor spoilers right here. There's one scene where they're watching this like footage of this portal, and the guy, and this guy, one of the characters throws a hat through it, and the hat comes out the other side, and they're just like, "Whoa, magic hat!" and I could see how, so this is just that kind of stuff is most of the jokes for him. So I could I could see how some people would find him annoying, but I found it amusing. But you know, I have a fairly amateur sense of humor. So I mean, he didn't make any fart jokes or poop jokes or butt like like any 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 like fart poop butt jokes though. That character did not. So it's not it's not like that. It's just kind of like. Ugh, I'm a dummy kind of character traits, not like, ugh, I'm immature. Because, I mean, he wasn't really immature. He was just, I he, he was totally voiced by, uh, if you've seen Gravity Falls, he was voiced by, I at least I think he was, he must have been, because he sounded the same. Robbie from Gravity Falls, who's like the, ugh, like, like, snobby teenage kind of goth kid. Which, in that show, he's, like, meant to be the annoying character. But in this, he he's the same kind of, like, dumb teenager, but in a not, but not in a, like, annoying way. Instead, in a more, like, comedic, friendly, buddy way. Like, like he's always, like, he's never mean to anybody in the movie. Nobody's ever mean to, well, actually, you know, I say that, but this goes back to the whole black and white. It's It's not, like... Just a standard good versus evil story. There's, there's complexity to it where, like even even the main character at one point in the movie does something that is not very hero like. Pun in pun not intended. Stupid, stupid main character's name. And it's like, d dude, stop! But then, but then, like you understand why he did it. You also kind of understand why the villain does what he does. It's it's actually kind of similar to if you've seen. If you've played Professor Layton in the Unwound Future, the villain's the villain's backstory and stuff is kind of similar to that, to the ending of that game, which I made a review of, but I don't remember if I actually had spoilers in it or not, because it's been like a year or two since I finished that game. I'm running out of breath, so this is just going to be the end of the video. I'd say Big Hero 6 is probably one of the best like kids' movies I've seen in quite a while. Because, like, most of the kids' movies I've watched in the past couple of years have just been, eh, like, Turbo with the freaking fast-racing snail. If you've seen my review of that, I mean, 
I didn't hate that as much as I thought I would, but it wasn't good. Like, this this was a good movie. I recommend seeing this movie. Uh, Arrivederci!